Hello and welcome to Bomb Squad. We are back for chapter two of our Fortnite fan cast. We're starting a new chapter, just like the game. I'm with my good friend Chris Lane. How are you? Back on the battle bus. Back on the battle bus. Ready to drop? Absolutely. Cannot wait. Season 10's finished. Yep. Straight into chapter, chapter two now. Chapter two, season one. How, how excited are you? I'm looking forward to getting my pickaxe. Fantastic. And breaking down things into minerals and other kind of... Is that Minecraft? Oh. <laughs> Fortnite. I'm sure, I'm sure it's the same. <laughs> I think it? they are. I think they're basically the same. I've thing. never played Fortnite. No, I actually have, but have not, not, not properly. No, I've so never I can't played really, Fortnite. No, I can't really comment on it. Save the world. Yeah. Isn't that's that the, it? That's, that's the, Isn't um, that his actual name? Yeah, yeah. I think that's like the, 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 the first game part. That oh. came out, I think. Anyway, we are back. It's good to be back. And how are you doing, first of all? Yeah, not bad. Good. Uh, good, glad to be back on the Bomb Squad bandwagon indeed, battle bus. Indeed, indeed. On the, on the battle bus. Um, right, so yeah, obviously been away for a while. It's time to catch up on some of the big topics in, in gaming. Um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be focusing on kind of PlayStation stuff probably a bit more moving forward. I think it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's where we both kind of ply our trade it's one of them where like i always think back at all, whenever i think back at all the consoles that i've had mm. through my life like my first major console was my ps1 yeah and then since then i've literally had every single playstation console yeah, yeah. including Everything. the vita oh well that's including that's, vr that's the one that i play the most yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. well not vr no <laughs> vita, though. vita vita definitely yeah, yeah. Long the best the, the, long be- of the vita the best of the playstation consoles yeah yeah excellent um well on those fantastic consoles that you've always played um what have you been playing for the last couple of weeks, um, what have you been up to get in your gaming life? Yeah, I struggled a bit to um, to decide what to talk about here. But mm. basically, um, first one that I'll mention, I didn't re- I didn't play on PlayStation, which I just realised I wrote it down. Oh my I didn't god, play that's okay. Uh, I played Telling Lies. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think I've talked about that on here yet. No, I don't. No, I'm pretty sure we haven't done. Um, so yet. obviously, kind of like the spiritual successor to her story, mm-hmm. um, and it's a similar idea. You sort of typing in keywords getting little it's basically all someone's hacked someone's facetime app or something and so all the stuff is like one end of a conversation yeah um and you're basically working out what happened in this um uh this sort of story that went on it's really good i don't want to say anything else yeah yeah i'm i'm gonna be playing it soon hopefully so um but um it's only on pc i think but if you get a chance just really definitely play that really cool no other game plays out like those like yeah. that sort of game in her story does so really cool absolutely i was going to ask you in terms of that then don't obviously spoil anything for, mm-hmm. for anyone but um compared to her story obviously her story has you figuring out just what happened in this one instance this kind of period of time um and then you you the whole game is just finding out what that story was is it the similar thing in telling lies in terms of are you once again just piecing together a something that happened in a period of time a while ago with these characters because there's, there's four of them now isn't there um yeah so kind of yeah. there is a sort of you are piecing together sort of what happened yeah but it's also it's not so much about what happened because obviously her story was kind of a murder mystery in a yeah. way yeah this isn't so much a murder mystery in ter- it's more a case of like okay this happened but or, or I'm working out what happened but how how does it affect these people and also how much does each person really know right because a lot of the, the key theme of the game really is deception right okay and so obviously you're trying to work out from a from point zero where you don't know anything yeah yeah, yeah. to working out okay what does this person know how is this person being deceived here and what because mm-hmm. that oh, without wanting to spoil even the premise of what's yeah. going on um the whole game is based on deception and right okay um yeah uh yeah, it's really good. It's really, yeah. really good. Does it still also for for me? Her story is quite interesting. How it, you could you could definitely play that game, um, and having never played a game before and still really enjoy it. Does this does the story or do the moments at all lean on a bit more ga- gamey kind of tropes at all, or is it still pretty uh, just like an interactive bit of entertainment? Oh, it's it's, it's not gamey tropey at all. Yeah. No, it's it's all about it, you know you've got it's clever how it works because obviously you're only seeing one half of. Um, a FaceTime conversation between yeah. two of the characters, and um, some, and so you obviously have to try to work out what keyword. Mm. You know, if if someone's singing in one of them, yeah, you listen for a lyric and go, okay, maybe the person 
there's a part where people like I think two of them are actually singing together. Okay. And so you work out based on what the song is, what the other person must be singing, mm-hmm. and you, you mm-hmm. work it out that way. So that's it's really clever. Yeah. Really, yeah. It's, the whole thing is basically just a big puzzle. Yeah. Um, to put together. Um, yeah, really, really good. Really excellent. Excellent. Awesome game. Um, anything else? Uh, anything yeah, else? just two things really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I bought the Mega Man Legacy collection. Oh yeah. Uh, dipped my toes into mm-hmm. Mega Man One. Oh goodness. Yeah. Um, Trick. Was it hard? Yeah. 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 I've never played one before, so I thought I really yeah. should try. I think and, um, I've only played, I think I've played, I think it might have been like Mega Man 2 or 3 on Game Boy. Or yeah. I might, might be telling lies then. Telling lies. Um, I played one of them on Game Boy and I was like, this is so hard. So I, try, I, I just basically started and I was like, oh, I'll just start. And I picked a random one. I think it was Cut Man. Is that mm. the name? Yeah, Cut, I think it's called Cut Man. Let's say um, it is, yeah. And yeah, I just died and died and died. And yeah. Just got absolutely dicked on. Um, and then I... <laughs> Then I looked up which one you're supposed to start with. Yeah. And apparently Bomb Man, I think it's okay. Bomb Man. Yeah. He um he's a good one to start with. So I did play to him and I did it I did eventually manage to beat him. So yeah. I was pretty proud of that. It's one of my proudest moments. And then um then I had to leave and do something else. And when I went back I realised that it doesn't save where you are or <laughs> anything. So I thought it's I'm probably a never old game. I'm probably never gonna go back to that. Yeah. Um so yeah, I dip I have got that, so I could yeah. nip into that when I want to. Um the other one is I played the entirety of The Last of Us mm, mm. very recently to um yeah. when we're actually recording. And I've never actually done that before. I've yeah. seen the whole game um from you playing it years ago. Yeah. When it first came out. But um yeah, I just thought I really ought to play it. Yeah. And um so I have. And, Excellent. Uh, well, don't talk too I'm much about too that because yeah. we're we're going to come to that later in um, in the episode. Um, I have played a couple of games since we have kind of left off. Um, one of them was Life is Strange. I finally got around to finishing it. The first um, season. The first right? season. Yeah, yeah nice. first season. Um, I haven't done Before the Storm yet, um, but I loved it. It was fantastic. So good. Some of the twists and turns that happen in it would. It goes. <laughs> it goes places. <laughs> it, it really does go places. I remember just texting you when when some of this happened. I was just like oh my god yeah. what just happened and there was a point where obviously it's it's a um it's an episodic style game where you kind of make choices and those have repercussions kind of butterfly effect style and um, throughout the rest of the game yeah and there is there's a couple of like really big ones where you're just given two different options and you have to yeah, pick them yeah. and there was one towards the end <laughs> i think i just texted you being like fuck off like just sending a picture of the screen being like nope Nope, I'm not making this decision. Is I it, can't do it. That's one of the ones you go in like an alternate timeline, isn't it? I that you sent me the picture of. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's um, yeah, it really does go places. Great story, really fun, um, really cool. I really yeah. like how it plays with um, like time travel. Yes, because for example, the your main character, oh, whose name Max. Is Max. She can basically like, uh, like kind of Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, just rewind. Rewinds rewind time a little bit and so you'll do things where you'll ask, someone will ask you a question you won't know the answer yeah. and so you have to give a wrong answer find out the real answer yeah. rewind and give them the right answer this is really cool there's a bit where you isn't it with, you're with Chloe and you prove it by telling her what's in her pocket yes yeah well, uh, but you I have to like get it wrong first episode or second yeah, episode yeah. Where, yeah, really cool did, yeah that, um, that, that aspect for me was really really clever and I kept on forgetting to use it in yeah. times of when it wasn't mission critical kind of. So there was a lot of times where a random person would get hit, uh, like a, a car would drive past, hit a puddle and splash them. And then you can watch that and just walk past it and think nothing of it because, oh, that just happens. Or you can then rewind, be standing next to them and go, oh, by the way, move out the way. And then it goes yeah. past. And so there was loads of little moments where you could continuously do that and I kept on forgetting to and then at the end of the episode kind of it gives you stats about what you've done and I was yeah. like ah, I didn't even know I didn't even think of these things and I like that sort of game because it's like it's one of those that is you know it's quite easy like it's not it's mm. not too mm. hard to beat or anything but no, like absolutely. there's bits I remember and a fairly big spoiler for um, an earlier part of the game where one of the girls Kate Kate is up on the roof yeah she basically is like threatening to like kill herself yeah and you can obviously there's things you can do to make sure she doesn't do that which is i didn't she didn't jump yeah for so me. for you she didn't and for me she totally did and she, di- <laughs> and she dies that is crazy and i i check in i had to check on her loads of times like the rest of the game yeah and i like um there were points like when it was happening i was like doing this rewinding trying to do this thing differently rewinding yeah, yeah. and i just could not work out what i was supposed to do and in the yeah. end i was just like 
Well, she does. She yeah, does. she so, does. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that was quite, it's like episode two or three, I think. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. And from there, you think, wow, this game is quite deep. And then where it actually ends up going is, is mental. Yeah. I love Life is Strange 1. Yeah. And um, yeah, if you enjoy it, definitely play Before the Storm. Yes. No, definitely. no, I will, will, will do. Um, also played through Finished and Platinum's Control. Nice. Um, what was which, that? I don't. Uh, no one's played that game. No one's play, no, literally. No one seems to have bought it, which is such a shame. Yeah. Um, it is. I I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I think there was huge issues with the performance. Of yeah. It, uh, which I, I can't even. At first, I was like, ah, oh, this is fine. And then, as you get more and more into the game, like, and the more hectic it becomes, there are points where it's just like, Whoa, I can't even actually do what I'm trying to do right Man, now. That sucks. It's not not great from that aspect. However. The game is so unique and so interesting. The story is bonkers, but really interesting. I didn't agree with everyone being like, you just can't even understand what's happening. I, it's, I think it's not that hard to work out what the yeah. story is. Um, the gameplay is phenomenal. It's That's so the much thing that fun. looks so good for So me. much fun to play. Um, and it's just, it feels so unique in, no one else seems to be doing like properly david lynch style weirdness in yeah. games like they seem to be kind of on their own remedy seem to be on their own doing that um i love well, it we do have death stranding coming we out do have death stranding yeah yeah sure 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 a couple of um, weeks but it, it's yeah i was yeah i, I, I think it's, it's such a shame because it, it did come out in august like the end of august yeah yeah well, kind of mid to end of august yeah and it didn't it didn't um didn't chart, chart at all august or september yeah it it won't moving forward there it's is nice. like there is like um because nothing there's nothing else massive came out no in those in that time it's so unless for me, everyone it's so sad kind of almost yeah. like unless everyone was just playing World of Warcraft vanilla yeah yeah World well, 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 of Warcraft well, well, yeah um, no 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 I I um I, yeah I feel kind of a bit desolate kind of about that yeah, situation because it's, it's so interesting I just wish more people yeah had 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 got on board but um. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And then the last thing that I'm currently playing through is Red Dead Redemption 2. Damn. Again, finally getting around to doing it. Um, it's... I have spent so many times looking at the picture of it on my cross-media bar, kind of like, should I play it? Should I play it? Should I play it? And I'm finally jumped in now. And um, I think it's like just got its little hooks in nice. me. Kind of, it's just kind of settling in and kind of understanding what, what everything's... Ha- how kind of everything's happening yeah i'm glad about that i i yeah. got i played it i started when it came out yeah immediately just, didn't you yeah it's yeah la- it's last year last year yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah um so making my way through that um excellent well we have a couple of bits of news we're not going to go through everything that's happened over the last kind of six weeks or however long it's been wait what's what's that sound happening uh um i don't know what is it Oh, there isn't. No, sound. there's no sound anymore. Oh. No, remember this is this is chapter two. Oh, it's chapter, chapter two. Chapter two. There's no sounds anymore. Okay, okay. so we don't need it's to diffuse. Talking. We don't need we to don't diffuse, need to diffuse the news. No, cool. no, no, okay. no, no, because this news has already been diffused by a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so first of all, I think we've got we've got kind of three or so big things that I want to kind of jump into and discuss. Um, let's just first of all, I think the the simplest one to go through is the PS5. Yeah, so yeah. it has got a name. It's the PlayStation Five. Is Whoa. the next generation console Big from shock. Sony? Indeed. Who could have called that? Um, I am looking forward to seeing the box because we haven't seen that. No, nope. but I'm looking forward to see what the logo is. If there's an S and a five, yeah, like the true. like the um, two kind of yeah, the S and the two. Like kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if it's kind of two things at the same, I don't know. The P fifty five, it might end up looking like Comic Sans. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that is coming out um, holidays or Christmas 2020, um, which I imagine will mean a kind of November, November, time, right? November yeah. launch next year. Um, not a, not a huge amount of information, however, um, a couple of things about. So basically, Wired got to go hands again. on. Yeah, again, Wired Weird. Um, got to go hands on with the the dev unit and see a couple of things running on it and get a bit of um, play around with a, a new controller. Yeah, I think, looks, I think they've seen it. I think they've seen it. Yeah, the, they've seen the controller. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if they said if it is the final design, oh, right. so it could still change. Um, but apparently, it looks fairly similar to a DualShock Four. Might have a microphone in it. That wasn't confirmed, but they thought they saw something that looked like that. Um, the, the the trigger buttons are called, have adaptive triggers in them, mm. which is basically like they kind of they've got tension in them. So one of the examples which I, they gave, which I really like the idea, that I just hope people use it 
is the idea of like pulling back on a bow. So initially, as you push down, it's kind of easy. And then as it, the tension kind of gets there, it gets harder and harder to push down. Yeah. So it's kind of, if that can add a level of immersion, that'd be great. Um, different guns feel different kind of the way you shoot. I was thinking, were you able to, did they mention you, were you able to actually like set your own, how tense you wanted it for certain games? Or was it more game, like they will have to, I think it was uh, the implication that I got when kind of reading the article was that the developer will do kind yeah, of yeah, yeah create the to... yeah layout for how that controller is going to work kind of for their game. Cool. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what people play around with that. I'm sure at launch there's going to be the kind of first party one of a couple of games which use every single new type of feature, they're, and then they're going to have to be way so so much better engineered than the. DualShock 4s are. Yeah. Because literally the DualShock 4s are just two tiny metal springs yeah. inside that... Exactly. In. I assume it's a... Yeah, it's, it's a gonna much It's going to have to be way better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there is also the rumble is finally changing for a long yeah. time. Um, now we're going to haptic feedback, which is kind of weird to explain, but if you've ever had like a lot of phones nowadays or an Apple Watch or anything like that... The vibration you can tell is just a little bit more direct and a bit more. It's less like well, you can look at a DualShock Four and you can see inside the 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 motors are literally two spinning. Yeah, yeah. This kind of, um. So this is a bit more. You'll feel it all over the controller, and the idea being that if you were walking through sand or swimming, the controller would would feel slightly different depending on what you're doing, um, and the feedback you get. Um, I'm pretty sure why I'd said they were kind of impressed with that aspect of it, but again. It's gonna have to wait and see who. Yeah. I just hope people this. use it, and it's not. Yeah. and it's not another touchpad situation where. Yeah. You know, like four first-party games at the beginning of the cycle use it, and never it, again. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's um that's the kind of big concern that you would have moving forward um with this. So those are the things of the controller. There's a couple of things about the the PlayStation itself, which. These are things which are, they're kind of similar to what they said with the PS4 initially, and I am excited for them, but again, kind of skeptical about is this going to work in this way? In terms of, so one of the things they said is you would go on the interface and you'd see a game, and you can just go down and like select a chapter to start. You don't have to load up the game yeah. and go into it. So you just jump into a certain section of the game, or you can download like initially just the multiplayer part of the game or just the single player part so you can kind of break down the game i think it's going to need a lot of work on the developers and sony's side working together to make that all happen yeah it seems um but the premise of kind of clicking it and you're in the game and you're playing instantly or you see your friend playing a game and you click it and suddenly you're in the game with them you don't have to wait for it to load up match make things like that Mm. so i think i think there's potential exciting things there but again i'm i kind of want to feel skeptical about it yeah until it, you really see it and it's really being done by every game consistently for a while i like i like the idea of being able to just switch my ps5 on and then like oh, i'm just straight back into yeah. whatever i'm playing exactly at the time, like. and i think that's a lot of that will come down to these new ssds that they've got inside which are super super quick yeah. um, supposedly and that will it should not even from like a having to develop the game in a different way it should just naturally mean everything happens significantly quicker yeah um so hopefully that will that will kind of work out um apparently there there's some there's some schematics of a dev kit that went around um that were kind of yeah, shared online that. and everyone yeah, was yeah. like oh is it real is it real and apparently Wired said oh this the th- machine we saw looked pretty similar to these kind of schematics really? yeah so right. w- why it's the, the machine they saw they were like this looks suspiciously similar to the schematics that we saw being sent around oh, cool. and it's this giant v yeah you know, with this kind of roman numeral with huge cooling vents everywhere um that apparently is the dev kit so that's what it looks like um so i'll be amazed if this thing is not a square box i i i, I was gonna say people are con- constantly like oh my god is that what it's gonna look like and people are like oh yeah this is a real thing i'm like yeah, but the dev kits have always been completely yeah. different looking. Um, Do you think it's going to be smaller, like the actual box? I think it'll be big. You think it's going to be bigger? I think it's. I think it'll be PS4 Pro size. Okay. Maybe slightly bigger. Interesting. Because one of the things they've said is um, there is hardware ray tracing, so it's not a software trick they're doing, and 
that currently needs a pretty beefy graphics card to do that right so amd are going to be bringing out graphics cards for these consoles next year but they haven't shown yet so there's going to need some power and a lot of cooling going on in this thing um so i just feel like they've got to have a fairly sizable box but not in terms of like a full-on pc type thing um one thing which obviously we, we don't know and we won't know for a while is is for me a big thing I think for you as well is will the fans sound like a jet taking off oh, that's crazy. on this thing um, even the last of us remastered that, I was, that I've been playing mm, it's pushing it it's crazy <laughs> yeah. how much the, even like it's PS4 Pro as well yeah, like yeah 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 I, they have like continuously made them slightly quieter and quieter as it's gone along but yeah. still uh, I hope they've sorted out a slightly better cooling system yeah for it the fans are loud yeah yeah so we will see with that but yeah so we have a timeline we have um some more information they seem to be kind of just dribbling little bits of information out here and there um i imagine we'll get the full kind of reveal of the box and the storage and the price and things like that maybe ne- maybe do, do, do they, they do, do something they, at like e3 yeah i was thinking that but then but then they've kind of gone go against it yeah year, exactly like- do they do their own event like they did last? Because I think it was in when the PS4 came out, which was 2013. They did event an event in I think it was like February time, where they where they announced the the PS4, kind of talked about it, but didn't actually show the box. They yeah, showed off some of the games and things like that, um, and kind of gave all the details. And then it was at E3 that year when they showed off the box. So that was like a five or six month lead time. So maybe. I think here's my predict. Well, it's not mm. prediction. I'm just saying. I think they will show us the box when they have enough of Horizon Two to show as the, as the launch game. Bold. Because Bold. I feel like that's going to be. Do you think that'll be it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like we've not heard anything from um, Gorilla from a while. Yeah. I just feel like that's that's the one that makes sense to be the launch game for it. Like the big... yeah, yeah. I think I think that's that's solid. I think you've also got um. Blue Point, who the guys have mm-hmm. done a lot of remakes recently, um, like Shadow of the Colossus and um, etc. They were talking about their new game, that yes, they were, and they were yeah, saying yeah. it's a PS5 game. And there's a lot of a lot of rumours that it's a remake of Demon Souls, so the first one of the Souls. Um, It'd be crazy, games. but then it's also like, do you want? I mean, obviously Demon Souls, obviously mm. it's got its followers and that, but do you want a remake as your as your t- like ten big, pole? Yeah, well, maybe that's one of those things they can come out and be like, right, we've got Demon Souls, an exclusive um, kind of launch game, along with Horizon Two type thing. So it's just like a couple of huge yeah games. I think that's going to be one of the biggest things is what games yeah. are we going to play? Because um, that's why that's why the PS4 has outdone the Xbox mm. One this generation because the game the the difference yeah. in exclusives has been crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there is there's a lot still to come obviously storage space um, yeah size size of kind of of the box and, and the, the design of it and everything the price mm. is going to be a big thing huge and thing I don't know how I feel about it I don't know what what, what, <laughs> what to kind of try and predict I feel like it's going to be I feel like it's going to be fairly expensive yeah I just think uh, I don't know I, if, I guess if they're both expensive the Xbox, then it doesn't matter yes yeah, so the, the next as well like, but mm. Mm. yeah it'll be yeah can't wait to find out that that information well i don't really want to know what the price is going to be if it's going to be too much but well, we know that psvr will continue to work yeah current version i'm sure there will be a version two um down the line but i imagine that'll be a couple of years away still yeah um, i imagine so with that so that's the information about the ps5 that we have um hopefully we'll get some more at some point soon um right next on the list should we talk about should we talk about something positive or negative oh um let's talk about something negative and get out of the way okay so this is kind of going going away slightly from playstation stuff well Um, they do playstation they do playstation games exactly a fair few of the games and we need to talk about blizzard and china and the troubling system system uh, situation that's developed there um small bit of background 
Um, this all came about recently um, where there was a Hearthstone tournament, I think, being played in Hong Kong? Um, I thought it was in China. Maybe it was in China then, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Um, there was a Hearthstone tournament that was happening. Um, a guy won it called Blitzchung, and he, whilst in his kind of post-match interview, um, kind of held up a sign of declaration for Hong Kong and kind of freedom and along yeah. the lines of that. Um, the, the stream kind of quickly cut um, after that and then Blizzard's reaction was to uh, take away all of his prize money, give him a one-year ban for um, play with the game and also get rid of the two people that were doing the shoutcast and so doing the interview. Yeah. I think well. they suspended them. They, they suspended yeah, them, yeah. yeah. Um, they didn't, didn't say anything for ages after people started getting angry about the reaction that they they provided um and how long was it was it it, about two weeks i think a week and a half they kind of went silent and then they came out and said maybe we've overreacted with this we uh, acted too hastily um we're going to give him give him back his money reduce the ban to six months um now for that because they left left the like presenter yeah presenters they're still still banned yeah, yeah 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 um their argument was that the um, interviews and the tournament should be all focused just on the games and that um, they they want people to have their own voice and uh, like have their own political opinions. However, at a tournament, it has to be only about the game. You can't say anything political mm-hmm. at a tournament um, and therefore it I, I think, the rules. I think that was all like kind of existing rules. Yeah. It was an official thing. Yeah. yeah. So they so they kind of I'd love to have been a fly on the wall in the blizzard meetings mm, for mm. those two weeks while they said nothing because like the the like blizzard employees actually like some of them walked out. There was there's a big there's a big like orc statue yeah. at Blizzard HQ where there's a what it, yeah, it's like think what is the thing? It says like think globally or yeah, something like that. It's like every voice matters and And that they ex- basically like walked out and covered those up with paper, like put paper over the um uh, the inscriptions on the statue, yeah, um, and it's it. What is? Have you got it there? What does it actually say? Just you're just, just looking really, up. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just such a difficult situation because you know China, the, the the world of Warcraft and Hearthstone and generally Blizzard games just are massive out there. Mm, yeah, it's a huge market, and so if you decide to. I've got it, by the way. It's oh, think, it, think globally and every voice matters. Yeah. They were covered up outside. Covered up and so, obviously, from the Blizzard's point of view... Yeah. As in, like, from the the higher-ups, mm. if they did not, you know, enforce those bans and... Yeah. They're going to risk not having their games be allowed to play, be played in China. Yeah, because we've seen that before. China will literally just cut yeah. it off and say, no, we've had enough of you, you're yeah. gone. And the, the communist government there can literally just... Yeah, they can just flip switch the switch. Off. Exactly. And that's it, it's gone. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the money that that will lose yeah. is, is vast. It's huge, 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 huge. However, mm. obviously, you know, from our end of things, obviously we're, um, we're like in the West... Yeah, we look at that and think, well, these guys are just using their freedom of speech. Yeah. So what's actually, you know, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Just, just sort of making a sort of political message. Yeah. I I feel so down on this yeah. whole subject for me, especially like it. They are, they are like a huge part. They are almost most of my childhood of gaming was yeah. playing was playing Warcraft two and Warcraft three. Um, and I, I just despair over this whole situation. I honestly feel like I'm at the point where I don't know whether I want to play their games currently yeah. because of yeah. the stance they've taken and what's happened and how it's all shaped out, shaken down. Um, I, I'm so scared for the future as well with the precedent that this is kind of set yep. as a, as a, as a situation. Um, I completely, I like... I was about to say, I understand. I get the corporate side of things. I get it, the decision, whatever they did for money, basically. But then that, for me as well, is like, virtues need to exist in, in some regards, somewhere. Yeah. And 
for, for, I, I read uh, there was a really good um, little quote that I saw someone say. I can't I'll, I'll paraphrase it slightly here, but it was about China and how it seems like a lot of Western companies, cultures, countries kind of thought they saw China and China was beginning to kind of open themselves up and they were like, right, well, let's let's show them all of this great stuff we have and kind of we can help liberate them kind of from their mind and kind of have all this great entertainment stuff all these great come like tech things and stuff and they were hoping to go into china and kind of open them up even further whereas yeah. what's happened is by opening them going into china china is now able to control those western oh, yeah. companies and it's, it's the opposite of what they thought was going to happen yeah so my when i first saw this yeah i my, my initial reaction was I think I kind of just I can understand I, I can understand Blizzard's initial like clamp down response mm. in terms of like right we're taking away prize money blah blah you're banned like this yeah because obviously it actually it threatens them yeah it threatens their business and obviously without Blizzard running Hearthstone competitions this guy wouldn't have had a chance to win yeah. this money in this game and and that's kind of the threat that they heard and obviously they've backtracked a little bit on that like we said mm. but. And I and I also think obviously it's blown up and it's a massive issue now. Yeah. Um, and I also think that a lot of people have gone into it to try basically like because they know that saying doing something like oh hashtag free Hong Kong or yeah. whatever is going to get them on the right side of history sort of yeah. thing. Do you know what I mean? And whereas it's a, I just think it's a much more complex issue than that. Yeah. And I don't think you know no, there's no way in hell. That Blizzard were going to come out after that and go, yeah, you're right. Yeah, do you know what I mean? There's, I know that obviously, um, that would that would be amazing, and I would and I would love that to happen. Yeah, yeah. But I just think it's quite naive to imagine that this huge bil- multi-billion, I assume, dollar company yeah. is going to do that. Uh, yeah, and that's that's the kind of the kind of sad part of it is. I almost like I don't I don't expect personally myself I don't expect them to say they agree with his stance yeah I just don't want them to have censored his stance yeah. they don't have to show an allegiance but annoyingly the situation with China is that you can't you have to censor it you can't yeah. not agree but also leave it kind of and that's where I despair so much over this whole situation and everything that's going to be sh- going on now from from now onwards. It's kind of it's. I don't feel bad for them, but it's unfortunate that this happened to Blizzard and they were the ones that were the first major ones that this kind of. Uh, there was the NBA as well that's had a big whole thing happening as well, um, but they're kind of they're kind of like the the banner poster of this whole situation this now. is the one where the like the straw that broke the camel's back because the thing is yeah. like no one none of these people who are up in arms about what blizzard have done have cared about the fact that let's say i'm tr- i'm trying to think of the specific franchise off the top of my head but definitely um the transformer movies mm-hmm. definitely the fast and furious movies yeah. and I'm, there's a couple of other massive franchises like that that have basically been almost entirely fun- it funded yeah uh, or a massive amount of their funding has come through chinese companies yeah and so all those films while they're being made are having people come in and say you need to change this you need to do this yeah. before they come out anywhere in the world not just china yeah yeah um and it, you know no one's up in arms about that no one's up yeah. you know it's it's only because now that there are all these protests going on and that yeah it, it's just this is the kind of the eye of the storm kind of thing of what of where the issue is it just it's a it is just a massive shame that it's Blizzard. Yeah, like it, it, I I think also imagine the reaction if this had been EA. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I, I'm you know people are angry about this, but if it had been EA or if it had been another company that people don't like, yeah, um, traditionally then there would have been so much more. Yeah, and uh, no, I, I I completely agree, and it, it's just yeah, it's so it's such a shame, and at the same point, I I. I just, uh, this whole Chinese situation is riling me up so much, not just on the Blizzard side of things. There's all, there's all sorts of things. You've got mm. Apple, you can't get the Taiwanese flag, the emoji of the flag, if you're over in Taiwan or in China or something. Yeah. And um, they pulled like an app as well. There's, there's like slight differences with some of the companies and what they've done. But all in all, 
it's like my, my I'm never someone who's likes to get into conspiracy theories or anything like that but my why I feel so sad right now is that you've got you've got companies it work well, for, for me it's, it's all about this like this cycling of money going round is that companies are willing to to bend their knee down to China because yeah. of the, the the financials of it all and what is happening is we've just glazed over all these horrendous things that are happening yeah. in China because of the fact we're not allowed to really piss them off because then these these companies will lose a huge amount of their market yeah it's like what's important what's yeah, more important that that's the thing and, and unfortunately right now we're clearly seeing that the money is significantly yeah. more important these these this kind of big all, all these horrendous human rights issues that are happening in China don't really get that much news no. and don't really get talked about that much because they basically fund everyone yeah and that's why and, and the big problem for Blizzard was that uh, a few weeks ago or a month ago or a couple, couple of weeks before this whole the Blitzstrand thing happened with the Hearthstone tournament um, there was a big thing where basically obviously basketball was massive in China yeah and one of the NBA teams I can't remember who, which team it is right now but basically their their team's chairman yeah put a tweet out basically throwing support to all the people protesting mm -hmm. um, for freedom of Hong Kong and um, basically China then pulled all of the NBA games involving that team and I think other teams as yeah. well in being um, transmitted out in China then the head of the NBA in America basically came out and made a statement saying like we're not gonna we're not gonna I'm not gonna fire this person this yeah. we're not gonna censor this at all in a you know it basically talks about freedom of speech yeah and so obviously you saw one way of reacting yeah to the censorship in China and then you saw Activision Blizzard's way of doing yeah. it, um, and it was just, and obviously, it was so different. And you, th but then I guess the difference is that the NBA is not ever really gonna, you know, it's massive. It's not. It is, yeah. And, and supposedly they have taken a huge. Oh yeah, hit I'm sure they have. The, the 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 head guy got loads of messages from China saying you have to fire this yeah, guy. Yeah, I heard. I saw. It and read yeah, that as well, and he I mean, was just like, but no, we 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 hold the values too too highly. I guess the problem is that. You know, I, 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 I wonder if if Blizzard had just stayed silent, if if in terms of they hadn't banned the dude, they hadn't taken his, and I think they've given the money back now to the guy, yeah. or whatever. But if they hadn't banned him, if they just stayed silent, what would have happened? What would have happened? And that's where that's where I feel like, based on what we've seen so far, I feel like China would have done something either yeah. publicly or to them directly. They would have yeah. contacted them and shut something down. And that's where my kind of like bottom, the notes that I was kind of writing, um, my kind of last thing that in my head right now is just like, I just wish China would just like close them off themselves completely. Yeah. They used to be like that. Yeah. And then they started opening up kind of to, I think it's just an incredible, a, a, an incredible ploy that they've put in place to kind of say, oh, yeah. we're going to open ourselves up kind of to you guys. And actually now they've got their hooks in everyone else instead. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's from the only way I can kind of be happy moving forward is if China, if people keep on protesting yeah. Blizzard games or something, they keep on doing things which they can't control. And then China's just like, F this, right, by Blizzard, you're gone because we can't deal with all this continuous shit, even though you're agreeing with us or you're, you're complying with what we're asking to do. We can't deal with all this continuous um, yeah, and, and obviously the internet has gone into overdrive with it. And have yeah. you seen? Oh, absolutely. Is it is it May in Overwatch? Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, trying yeah. to make her like a symbol for yeah. Hong Kong to try and get Overwatch banned in China to hit to hurt Blizzard more. And, and then hopefully, that's that's kind of it's like a, it's like wanting China to ban Blizzard in order for Blizzard then yeah. to be able to act better because then they don't have to worry about yeah China. because people love the game so much. Yeah. That's the thing. Like and Blizzard. And, and and well, I guess like Blizzard has kind of been on a bit of a down. Yeah, the, uh, kind from of. Last, from BlizzCon last year, you had the Diablo the, Mortal yeah, yeah. reveal, which, which you know, which everyone was so angry about. But yeah. it was again, it was a game aimed at a Chinese market, exactly a Chinese Developed mobile by, market. Yeah, Chinese company Netflix. Yeah, that's it. Um, and that and what they've they've done, they've managed to somehow over the last year kind of win back some of that, um, some of those lost 
fans and stuff through things like World of Warcraft Classic. Yeah. This huge bit of fan service that people generally have thought was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and now they just go and do this. I, do you know what? I read a, that thing that you, you sent uh, an article from Eurogamer, I yes. think it was. Yeah, yeah. About, yeah. and the, the whole section about, um, like the mists of Pandaria update yeah. to, to World of Warcraft. I didn't even think, like at the time, I didn't even think about it. I just thought, oh, yeah. this is a cool update. But it's the fact that it was all, you know, from kind of based on like Chinese folklore and the yeah. Pandaren were the only race that could join the Horde or the Alliance. Yeah, they were kind of the middle, like... Because um, there's a huge thing. So from this article, which you can find on Eurogamer, um, they, the, the Pandarans, who, who have been a race in Warcraft for ages, were meant to be in the Burning Crusade. I think, but then yeah. they had to keep on getting delayed because they needed to work it through with China because they thought it was being offensive and stuff. And, and they it was were the only updates of World of Warcraft that came out in China on the same day as every other, yeah, yeah, Everything every other country, was, yeah. So, Ugh, it's just so great, it's so grimy, it especially is. if you. I'm gonna try and uh, read it up a bit more, but especially in Hollywood, like the movies and China is crazy. Yeah, the, so, the amount of huge um, production companies that are being funded by Chinese. Yeah. Um, by the Chinese government, basically, it's yeah. absolutely nuts. Yeah. Well, I um one of the films that I went and saw recently at the film festival. I think maybe Marriage Story, or it was either Marriage Story or no. I think it was um a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Oh, yeah. About Mr. Rogers. Is that the Tom Hanks. One? Tom Hanks. Yeah. I think it was that one of those two or one of the films I saw recently. Um, it comes out of the production logos at the beginning and then Tencent popped up as one of them and I yeah. was like, fuck's sake, like, they're everywhere. Tencent are so big and they're, they're popping up on films all yeah. over the place now, funding them. Um, uh, similar, yeah, I, the Hollywood thing, I think is, I think it's just been the case for so long now that it's the normal thing and it came to light for me recently when I found out, well, when a, a news article broke that on some of so you know Apple have their thing Apple TV Plus which is going to be their streaming kind yeah, of TV yeah, yeah. shows and films it came out last week or something after the Blizzard stuff saying that oh apparently in some of the sets or some of the productions um, they've had to think about whether for the Chinese kind of market yeah. and like they had to have conversations with them about oh will, will this be offensive kind of or stuff like that and obviously that came out and then because it's about Apple it became a news story but then the kind of follow up with that was Everyone was like, "This isn't this isn't weird, by the way. This is just normal. This is this is always what happens in TV and film production. Is that's just a normal thing that we yeah. always have to do." Obviously, it, it blew up because of the whole Blizzard stuff happening. Um, but when I saw the comment being like, "Oh no, we weren't like concerned, but this wasn't like a big new thing for us. This has just always been the way." It's like, "Oh fuck's sake!" I just really? wonder if we're at a bit of a turning point in terms of like uh, the fact that it's in the public eye now. Yeah, well, I just wonder if we're going to now start seeing companies and groups sort of being like, well, actually, we're not going to. Yeah, because do it's, this. It's we're a, not going to censor this. It's for a this. very, it's a very, very easy win for um, kind of public mind share of like being thinking they're a good company. Yeah, the mind share. Obviously, because, it's not going to be good for the, your financials no, in the slightest. No. But in an age where people are much more morally led by things it seems and this isn't like a this isn't like a left right liberal Mm-mm. conservative thing this is a this is like a everyone is yeah everyone on the west at least is yeah exactly and um, kind of together in this yeah we're going to see how it shakes down i yeah. think one of the most fascinating thing that's that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks is blizzcom oh it's coming it's up shortly i think we've crazy. got like two weeks to like go. it's under two weeks yeah yeah, yeah. um can't wait for I that. I'm th- gonna I'm gonna do my best to watch that live. Yeah, possibly. yeah, yeah. Because like, was it BlizzCon last year where they got ripped a new one for that mobile game? Yeah, for Diablo people Immortal. in the actual crowd. Like, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be nuts. I... Is anyone gonna go? Obviously, oh yeah, will go. oh people will go. Oh, it's, people it's, will go to, to to. What's security gonna be like? Are yeah. they gonna be checked for? I think I really feel like they have. To do something more before BlizzCon, they if they to, don't they have do anything, to announce something or they have to do something before BlizzCon because in, in, otherwise, regarding the situation, yeah, because um, I I've read several rumors that regarding BlizzCon, apparently Diablo Four is finally going to be announced, yeah, yeah. which normally I would be buzzing my tits off regarding this yeah. because it's one of my favorite franchises. I'm so excited for this. It was meant to happen last year apparently, but they just weren't quite ready for it. Um, so that's happening. Apparently, Overwatch Two. 
is about to be announced, which is going to have like PVE stuff in it and PVP. Oh wow! Um, so who knows? I mean, like in normal times, announcing Diablo Four and maybe Overwatch Two would be nuts. Mental for BlizzCon. But- <laughs> this is what's going to happen. I mean, but, yeah, I, I feel like they need to do something beforehand um, about their stance or, or kind of the situation. Yeah. They just need to say something. They can't. I don't think they can just leave it. But they, if they do, I can't wait to watch the fireworks oh, go off. Regarding, yeah, it. it's must watch BlizzCon. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Well, let's let's leave Blizzard and Hong Kong. Yeah, feeling a bit down after that. Um, let us. Let's pause before we go go to our next topic. Yeah. Well, actually, no. What we we were just going to briefly mention about Fortnite. Oh uh, yeah, we don't want to talk. Too we much don't want to Fortnite. talk much about Fortnite, but Fortnite chapter so, two. So Fortnite died. Fortnite died. Literally died. It disappeared. Yeah. Well, but everything. There's really. There's a lot of cool videos of. People yeah. It was really. Captured cool, it, actually. and it basically all just gets. They, everything got like sucked into a black hole. Yeah. Didn't it? The whole game. Um, and then, and how then, long was it off for? Was it like a day? Like, was, yeah. It might yeah. Be almost a day. I think. Maybe even longer. And if you logged in, you just were looking at like a black, uh, yeah. like a kind of like the ring. Yes, like yeah, a black yeah. Black hole in the middle. I the for me, it is unbelievable that we have a game which like actively took itself offline and became more popular because of it, even though it's already the most popular thing on the planet. Crazy. The power of that game is unbelievable right now. Um, Fortnite is what everyone thought PUBG was going to be two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's crazy. It's it's I've got no interest in it at all. No, but it's cool watching that, it, following it yeah, is yeah. is an incredible bit of history in in gaming. Um, and that just just the fact they did basically just turn off the game and everyone went bonkers. Oh, there's over vi- it. there's videos of kids like chucking stuff at their TV. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It's, just because they couldn't play Fortnite for one yeah. day. It's amazing, amazing what they did, and then they've come back, and now there's lots of new features. New I don't, I haven't, I literally don't even know what's now. I, I know it's like a new map and stuff. New map, I think you can swim, and uh, there's, okay. all, there's, there's various different things. Um, Great. Yep. Yeah, so enjoy Fortnite if you play it, um, yeah. and we're happy for you. Um, so let's pause there for a bit. Cool. Let's play a little bit of game. Let's let's kind of relax and have fun and kind Just of chill out. Chill out for a bit. Exactly. Um, so, as is always the case with like a little game at halftime or a little quiz or a question, um, what we're going to do now is because spoilers, the rest of this episode is going to be talking about The Last of Us yes. and The Last of Us Part Two. Yes. What I thought I'd do then is we're going to have a look at a little look at Naughty Dog, the developers. And what I've got here is I have gone on to Metacritic, our old faithful Metacritic, and I've looked at them as a studio and all of the games that they've released. Now, annoyingly, this only starts at Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped on the PlayStation 1. So it doesn't cool. have Crash 1 or 2. Um, and I think they, they did make some games before that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to start from Crash 3 because that's as far back as I can go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the game. Yep. Um, there are quite a few to go okay. through. Um, yeah, I wouldn't worry about writing the, them down. Um, I'm going to give you the first score. So I'm going to give you the score for Crash 3, okay? Okay. I'm going to then tell you what the next game is that they released, according to Metacritic. And you are going to tell me whether the score was higher or lower. All right. Okay. 50-50. 50-50. 50, yeah. We're no, you don't have to go too spe- uh, specific. If you want to have a hazard a guess at the score, fine. I might as well. I'll yeah. If, like... you, if you get it right, I'll give you a bonus point. Yes. Okay. So Crash Bandicoot 3 warped on the PlayStation 1 uh, back in 1998. We're starting on a 91. Whoa. Okay. Okay. People love the Crash yeah. series. Okay. Next up on here, we have the original Crash Team Racing, recently redone. Okay. So um, are we going higher or lower? See, people love that game as well, but I'm going to say that it was probably lower. You would be correct. Nice. What was... Oh, uh, wait. Should I guess what it was? Yeah, go for it. Go I guess 84. 88. Oh. Only just lower. Okay, Only wow, just yeah. lower, yeah. So then next up, we have Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, which I think is Jack and Daxter 1. Yeah. Um, so post-crash life. I, d- I don't know how these games like reviewed and that. Mm. Uh, so I'm, we're on 88. I'm going to guess lower. No. Was it higher? It was higher. Nice. Well, guess the score. Uh, 90. Spot on. Cool. Uh, bonus point. I don't know how I'm scoring. Yeah, I have no idea. I'll work it out somehow. Um, um, 
right. 90 for the okay. Jack and Daxter. Next up, Jack 2. Called Jack 2. Okay. From a so 90. I'm one of the, it's one of those things where I'm, I think one of the Jack games people didn't like. Mm. And I, I don't think it? it's this one. Okay. So I'll say that this was... I mean, well, I, I'm also I'm assuming none of them stay the same, so I can't. I'm not going to have like a. If <laughs> that's a good point, let's just say I'm not even going to look. Let's just say no. Okay, none cool. of them stay the same. I'm going to say Jack Two is higher. It's higher than ninety. That is wrong. Oh, okay, that's a um, bold guess. I don't know my scoring system. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what you've no's done. and yeses. I'm just going to tick. Just tick if I get you, it right when you get it right. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, guess. Okay, guess Jack Two uh, lower than I'll get it is an eighty-six. Oh, so close. 87. Okay. 87. So we're at 87. We're now back onto the front page because there's two pages of games that they have. Uh, so we're back onto the first page. Okay, next up, lo and behold, Jack 3. So we're at 87. 87. Now, is, is this the one that people were a bit people are a bit burnt out on Who knows? Jack game? I'll go lower. It is lower. Cool. You're right. Okay. Where are we going score-wise? I'm going to stay in the 80s. Okay. 81. 84. Okay. Still, bit lower. Still, still fairly good. That's good. Okay. Next up, less than a year later, Jack X Combat Racing. Oh. Now, some of these games, I don't even know if they actually fully developed them, but we're going with that they added. Um, what, were we on 84? Yeah. Lower. You're right. Yeah. And the, and the, the score? 78. Ooh, 76. Oh, I think. Naughty dog. Can you imagine yep. if they brought out a 76 game now? Woof! It is the lowest rated, lowest, cool. lowest score. Um, oh, well, that's a spoiler for the next one then, isn't it? True, <laughs> true. Um, higher. It is higher. I think you, I think you would <laughs> have got the this. Game? The next game is Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Wow, okay. Now, interesting. Can you tell me the score? So what were we on? 70... We're on 76. So we've okay, gone so higher. So you got that right. I'm going to say it's... <sighs> I mean, this is, this, is, this is a launch game, I think. What for PS3? For the PS3. Um, or was around the launch. I don't think period. it's in the nineties. Okay. Eighty nine. Eighty eight. Okay. Cool. Good guess though. Close. Next up, Uncharted Two: Among Thieves. Okay, it's so definitely higher. Okay, you're right. Um, what will be on eighty eight? Yeah. So I'm going to say this is like ninety two. Ninety three. Ninety two. Ninety six. Damn. 96 96 96 Uncharted 2 was a moment yeah, yeah. in gaming what a game um, yeah incredible game now interestingly there's a lot of things that don't have scores here but I'm going to say the ones that do have scores okay. okay so next up is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Siege Expansion Pack <laughs> do you think that was higher or lower than 96 lower you would be right in saying that and the score 90 81. Okay. 81. Okay. Next up, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Higher. You would be right in saying higher. Now, definitely, remember 96 was Uncharted yeah, 2. Yeah, definitely lower than Uncharted 2. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say 92. Oh, nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. 92. On. Easy. Very good. Next up on the scoring, we have Uncharted Golden Abyss. They didn't make that. I know, but it's on here. It's under them. Oh, okay. It's under them. I don't care. I don't care if they didn't make it. They didn't. Lower. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Lower. And the score? Um, 80. Spot on. Play it. Spot yeah, on. Come on. Spot on. Smashing right. This. Next up, The Last of Us. Oh, mate. Definitely higher, obviously. Okay. You're right. Was it hot? I don't feel like it got higher than... Did it get high? It must have got higher than Uncharted 2. Okay, so Uncharted 2 was 96. Oh, no, it wouldn't have done. 97. 95. Oh, see, it's so wrong, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so <laughs> wrong. Um, 95, okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll come back to that 95 and that comment of so wrong a bit, in a bit. The Last of Us Left Behind. Oh, I see this. I feel like this would have re- reviewed quite well. Mm. Um, low, lower, or low? lower. Lower. Sure, yeah. I'm still going to say 90 something, though. Okay. 93, 2. 92. 88. Oh, 88. Next up, The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. Um, Higher or lower than 88? Higher. Yeah. I mean, would it have got the same as... Because they, they ironed stuff out, didn't they? 95. It did get yeah. 95, cool. yeah. Okay. 
Good. Which is, that I think that that's a bold decision to 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 guess ninety five because yeah it came out a year literally a year later. Um, I don't know whether I would have. I thought I think I would have normally assumed that it would have got lower. But I think because I think they tightened it all up, didn't they? They, they did. Added, they, did. they added Left Behind. They added. Um, is it part of Remaster? Yeah, it's part of the Remaster. Yeah, so, which ah. is free currently on PS Plus. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I think it adds the whatever the multiplayer is as well. Factions. Damn, I think I bought Last of Us the Left Behind expansion it's as in, a, on, the, on PS4. Yeah. I bought it as a separate thing, even though I, I own remastered twice. I own it on disc and I bought it digitally. I've not played I might play it actually. I might yeah, play it fine. I'd like to. Yeah. Um Okay, so we were ninety five. Yeah. Next up Uncharted Four A Thief's End. Okay, it's lower. Okay, you're right. Um, I would don't think it did it drop below 90 hmm. 91 93 wow it's close yeah close stuff that's it isn't it one more oh really yeah Uncharted The Lost Legacy oh um, everyone loved that didn't they hmm. I don't know I'm going to say lower it is lower than 93 89 84 oh okay 84 not played it gotta be honest not I'll bad, not you, bad though. That. No, neither have I. No. Um, I think it is on sale right now. Um, it's it's, it's part be. of the PlayStation hits. So it's definitely season. It might be worth left. jumping into that. Right, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Th- Come on, Metacritic. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 14, 15, 16. A possible 32 points. No. But was that including 31. the first one? Yeah, so, so 30, 30 points available. Okay, oh, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Which is good. I feel like most of those points are lost from the actual score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah, I did yeah, okay yeah. in the upper, higher or lower. No, absolutely. Um, they, Naughty Dog have an average career score of 88. With their lowest, pretty good. Their lowest being 76 at Jack's X. And that's Jack X, and that's the only one that was under 80. Can anyone, do you reckon anyone beat that? Rockstar, maybe? Rockstar, I can look up if you want. The, hi- the highest then, yeah, was Uncharted 2. 96. 96. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Rockstar Games. Average career score. But you never know if Metacritic... They've got a load of... Yeah, they've also got a load of, like, remakes and stuff. 82. Yeah. Lowest score, 41. Smuggler's Run. Who would be who, who would be higher than Naughty Dog? I feel like it's got to be someone who hasn't had that many games. Yeah, but... Okay, yeah, but whose like first game would have been, like, do you know what I mean? Uh, there, there probably isn't anyone, is there? What about the guy who made like um, Papers Please and Lucas Pope? Yeah, um, I'm sure this is good. Two, I'm sure this, sure this is, is good yeah, audio. Yeah, great, great <laughs> podcasting here. Lucas Pope, you ready for this? Yeah, go on. All right, come on, come on, Metacritic. Three games. Yeah, I suppose this would be high. With Papers, Please on PC, Papers, Please on iOS, and Return of the Obra Dinn on PC. With a career average of 89. Yeah, he beats go. it. Lucas Pope. Smashed it. Let's just say he is the number yeah, one. Developer. no one's higher than Lucas Pope. No one's above him. Um, 89 for Return of the Obra Maybe Dinn. Maybe Bioware. Should be higher. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's a guaranteed one there. Oh, Bioware. Oh, Bioware. So well done. Well done Cheers. with that little history. I feel a little bit Dog. aggrieved at saying it was 17 out of 30 when you said that it was bonus points. I think. Do you know what I mean? No. It, yeah, I feel you, a little bit aggrieved by that. No, no, you okay. can't. Fair, fair you enough. are you are just over halfway of being good. I don't even know what I was trying to say at that no, point. No, I don't understand. Right. Moving swiftly on and seamlessly into our conversation regarding The Last of Us. You... Have just played through the whole of the last of us yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Oh my goodness! Mm, mm. I mean, obviously, I knew I've seen you play it, so I knew it was going to happen. I knew that every the story and everything, but oh yeah. my word, what a game! Yeah, yeah, absolutely, what a game. Um, your comment of uh, the, the ninety five that it got. Yeah. So you think it should be higher than Uncharted two? Yeah, I probably do. Mm. I think I, I, think, think, I, I agree. do. Yeah, I think I agree. Um, I always feel a bit. Um, funny when you get to game scores and you start getting over like 94 kind of for average scores because yeah. it's kind of like I, I feel like 
does should a ninety seven can a ninety seven exist? Like, I just, well, thing? also, I just don't think we're going to see that anymore because I think. But I keep I keep on thinking that, and then Mario, Zelda, and Red Dead all came along. Yeah, but I think things that like N- Nintendo, for example. Yeah. No one's going to give a new Mario game mm. a score lower than 90. Like, no one is. But, yeah, so my, bi- my big thing has always been games over 95. Yeah. That happens, like, four times a generation. Yeah. And so far, it does... It does it, I, I thought we're never going to get another 97 or something like that because people are too cynical about yeah. everything right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Then Red Dead came out. It was like, yeah, yeah, 97 or 98 or whatever it is. Yeah. So I, I think it can still happen. I think it can but it really like it really emphasizes then when people are like whoa everybody loves this kind of in terms of reviews at least um where, what that means for for the game whether it is 98 whether that's possible who knows kind of but the last one is is pretty near perfect in my I mean eyes. Like, it's one of those things where like the the tier of games that I've played that I think maybe even come close is stuff like the recent God of War. Yeah. Like, I think... I, I think I kind of came out and said after that God of War, that's like one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah. Because it, it just had everything. Um, the story was incredible. Playing it felt so good. And The Last of Us, like, at no point... It's weird because you get to the end of it uh, I've, and I feel like we're going to spoil this game as well. Yeah, but it has I, been. It's been out for like six years. I was going to so. say. I think we should pretty pretty quickly say if you have just got it on PS Plus or anything like that, um, then yeah. you might want to skip this conversation because yeah. um, we're just going to be talking about the sequel as well. So we're going um, naturally. But like, man, I don't know if at any point I'm sat there playing it, going, "Oh man, I'm I, this is so much fun. I'm really loving yeah, playing this yeah, game." Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's not. It's no. not. It's not like you're sat there going. And yeah, okay, there are fun bits where it's like, oh, I'm sneaking around these group of people, I'm doing mm. this, oh, this cool headshot here. Yeah. But I'm never, you know, even some of the bits that I would consider probably the most fun parts, for example, playing as Ellie Yeah. and sneaking through to where... Through the cabins. Through the cabins yeah, and yeah. all that stuff in the snowy, like the lakeside section, is, is really fun. And I love yeah. that sort of gameplay. It's what I loved about Horizon. It's what I love about... Um, when when stealth goes right, yeah, it can be su- such a great mechanic. But the whole time, I'm it's only after and after I finish the game and thinking about it, where I go, that was fun. Yeah. In the moment, I'm I'm literally just yeah. so stressed out. Yeah, especially because of what that part of the game, like why that bit comes about. Yeah, um, because you just feel so vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel so. And I was playing it on easy. I'll oh, come off and say that's right because I'm just yeah. I can't deal with no no. Like, no and there's no. and there's points in the game where things can just one one hit kill you. Yeah. Um, Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I think I, you, I there's a good um, uh, statistics screen uh, that you can get in. The, I don't know. It's in the remastered version. Okay. I don't know if it's in the original. Yeah. Um, and it tells you like how many times you died and all this stuff. And I think I died like seven times throughout. Yeah. Um, and I got one ally death as well, but I don't know. I don't know when that happened. Okay. I feel like I um, I feel like I'm, I can't remember that. Yeah. I feel yeah. Like that maybe even been a lie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the only times that I died were when, like, that was kind of what just could happen. For yeah, example, the part yeah. where Joel is caught in that trap and upside down and yeah. just bullshit clicker got me. Yeah. Or I think I died twice to David. Um, in, oh, in the fight? In the, um, as Ellie. Ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I died twice in okay. that bit. Yeah. Um, because they're just, like, there comes a point where if he, if yeah, he gets you, you're dead. It's one so, hit stuff. Um, um, I don't, yeah, I don't. Other than that, I think I only got killed like once by humans, not yeah. including David, yeah, in the yeah. game. Um, because I, I, yeah, I was playing it easy and no, stuff. But yeah. you, um, you, you, I know for, you had always always told me kind of well, you you kind of came to me like a couple of weeks ago, and messaged me being like, ah, oh, I think I'm going to play The Last of Us, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, because I know you'd always thought you were always like, ah, oh, I just don't know if I'd actually be able to play through it for various different reasons yeah. and stuff. And and I tried before, and I got yeah, fer- yeah. a lot further than I thought I had. Yeah. Um, but I just always get I just get stressed out like zombie games just aren't really my thing. Yeah, yeah. But this is just so well done, and I got and it the world of that game mm. got to me so much that you know. So basically, obviously, you've got a few various types of infected. You've got the runners, you've got clickers, you've got the bloaters, and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, the clickers specifically 
I would just avoid completely. Yeah. And there's a point in the game where you get to where you've got enough upgrades, you've got enough health, you've got this where you can actually quite easily just kill yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I literally wouldn't. Yeah. The only way that I would ever kill clickers in the game was if I'd messed up and they got to me and I had to shiv them. Yeah. Or just headshots from afar. Yeah. yeah. I would. I would never like. I. I was watching. Um, after I finished the game, I just watched a load of videos about it and stuff. And I saw one guy, you know, that in Billstown quite early where there's a clicker guarding something in a shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that bit, I saw someone just basically have a brick and just brick this thing, this clicker down yeah, in like yeah. three hits. Yeah. And I literally didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Because I would just avoid them because the game did such a good job of being like, these things will kill you. Yeah. These, these, are, are, these are a threat. Yeah, these are lethal. And so even just completing the whole game when I've got like a... At the a end, flamethrower a, kind of like I've shotgun got a flamethrower I've got a pistol that's got a sniper that's yeah, a sniper yeah, yeah. on it like, even with all that stuff I was like no way I'm not going to yeah, yeah, like yeah. even so you, you have you play through the whole game and you have this sort of section that's your final encounter with um, with the infected where you go yeah. through a bus terminal bus, yeah. uh, an underground tunnel with yeah, it, yeah 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 and um, there's there's basically there's the exit which will take you to the cutscene that then Finish, you start finishing yeah. the game Um and in front of the exit, there are three bloaters, um, yep. a, about three or four clickers and a couple of runners. And I literally got to that point and I was like, um, right, okay, uh, three nail bombs, uh, all my Molotovs. <laughs> no. And literally, I think I, I, and then I just shot one clicker in the head. And yeah. I was like, right, run through, that's it, I'm done. That's and I was, I, like, I, I was like, I didn't want any kind of up close combat with them because I was like, nah. Yeah. Because the game, the whole way through is just like, these things will mess you up. That's so funny you say that about that part because I, I, so I also played through the whole game um, a couple of months ago because um, I played it for, I kind of played it through to show it off to some friends and um, I kind of smashed it. I had to like smash it out in a couple of days because I'd left it too late. So yeah. I had to like play it like all night for a couple of nights in a row and at that point at the end, I had exactly the same reaction that you were having in that I knew I was powerful enough to kill all of these things. Yeah, yeah. I ended up that last section chucking bricks at different places to distract them and sneak around yeah. the corner and then get up without killing anyone because I just didn't even want I know to you deal. Can, yeah, and I, and I felt like there must be a way to stealth it, but I just saw the exit. Yeah, all yeah, three like, bloaters stood there and I was like, yeah. this is too good opportunity not to just destroy them yeah. all. I was, I was like... I also the, think there's a firefly pendant on one of them. Oh, is there? I think there's a character uh, okay. on one of them as well, but I don't, yeah. even, I don't even think I picked it up. I was just I, like, now I'm out. I remember like chucking bricks away and then like having it so that I knew where I was going because I just I'd done the bit loads of times yeah. and I was kind of walking it but had the camera turned away so I was walking towards the camera so I was watching them to make sure yeah, they weren't yeah. following me and it was like one of them was coming back and I was like go 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 and it, they I don't know I mean the my comparison with God of War the reason that I'm the reason I'm comparing it with God of War mm. is because I think they're both unbelievable games yeah but like in God of War there comes a point where like no, nothing's touching me because yeah, like, I fought yeah. those massive troll things about ten times. Yeah. Like I know how to take them down. Any kind of enemy it throws me, even the parts where it is literally just waves of yeah. the different types of enemies that you fight, and you have to change between the weapons and yeah. all that. I'm like, and then also like I kill enough and I get Spartan Rage and I just destroy everything in front yeah. of me. You're a literal god. You're literally <laughs> a god, literally. Yeah. Um, in the Last of Us, you probably you are kind of like that at the end, like when you're taken on the yeah. Um. Uh, the soldiers in the Firefly Lab. Yeah, I remember years ago watching you do that bit and being, and then in my head being like, "Oh, this is this is like huge. This bit I've got yeah. all these people to take on, and they've all got assault rifles, and I've yeah. got you know whatever." And then I got to playing it, and I was like, "I'm just destroying these people." Like, yeah, I'm yeah. And it's literally like, it's almost fun, just yeah. like murdering your way through that yeah. hospital. And then when you get to the end of it, you're like, "Man." what does that say about Joel in a yeah, way yeah, yeah, of yeah. like, cause I was enjoying, yeah. Oh, what's that? Boom, that headshot through that bottle there. They're like, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Head, like just strangle this guy from behind yeah. and then snipe that guy in the head yeah. and then pick up his, his M16 or whatever it is. And literally just go on a massive rampage. And there's a point where, um, you get through the first sort of big room of mm -hmm. them and you hide behind, I hid behind this counter and about four run through to the first room. Yeah. And you and I'm crouched there, and you literally just go, and and I think I'm picking up a few things, whatever, like ammo and that. And you literally hear the people that ran back to where you've just come from go, yeah. "Oh my god, it's a massacre in here!" <laughs> and, I, and I and I literally like it actually made me stop and go, "Shit!" I did just massacre. Yeah, a load and, of people, I, and I was having, and I enjoyed I was having it. fun. And then as they do that, 
another guy comes through the door and then you have to kill him and then the other guys yeah. run back because they're here yeah, and I was yeah. like man this is so... and then I brutally murdered them as well yeah. and, and it got to the point and I, well I, I won't talk about that yet because no 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 yeah yeah no that yeah we'll, but, um, we'll come to the story bits in a second man it's just uh, so well yeah so, so I've got a couple of points that I kind of wanted to, cool. to go through um, with like some vague structure to the conversation um, the first thing I want to do is just to get it out of the way of did you have any negatives with the game? What, what? I, I imagine there must be something. Uh, okay, yeah. But what, right. what? And and I think this is more not to, because I I've I've had a long history with the Last of Us, going up and down, and what how I feel about the game. Yeah. Um, having replayed it myself recently, I think it's an absolute masterpiece. I think it's one of the best games I've ever played in my entire life, and I think it will always hold up as that. Um, there's still issues I have and bits I want to pick apart with it, but it's only for me. It's only because. I think the game is so good yeah. that I end up being more critical towards it. It's like an endearment almost towards it. All right, so I've got a couple of negatives. Yeah, and this First, this can also link into then when we talk about part two because these are things where it can be a negative about the game or it's something you want to see improve yeah, for yeah. the future. I mean, my first two negatives are actually um, like performance, no, yeah. no, kind of performance things, but um, like a couple of bugs that I ran into. Oh, oh okay, like oh, li- literal Yeah, so I mean, the first one was... Kind of frustrating actually, and this uh, this was actually a one time that I died that I forgot mm. about. Um, there's a whole section where you're leaving Pittsburgh and you're being chased by a uh, big kind of tank. Yeah, and um, the ending of that level is basically you get out of this building, you have to just run. Yeah, and you have to run. And throughout this whole section, my controller just w- was like spinning, like the, okay. the camera yeah, control yeah. Would, was going wrong. Oh, wow. Okay. And so as I was trying to run, yeah. the camera went wrong and I hit the wall and then it just mowed me down or, yeah, or shot yeah. me and I was like, and then it yeah. loaded up and it worked fine. And I was like, yeah. oh, damn. Like kind of that one, I had to redo Pulls that Pulls you out of like, sec- that moment. Yeah. Kind of. And so that was kind of annoying. This, the other thing that happened was um, in one of my favorite sections, actually the game, which I kind of forgot about from when you played it was with Henry and Sam, mm, the okay. um, two brothers that yeah, you run yeah. into. And there's a really cool bit where um, because you kind of, I think, is Sam the younger one? Yeah. Sam and Ellie start to kind of become friends yeah, a little yeah. bit. And there's a part that's kind of, I think it's optional where they find a dartboard yeah. in a house and they start playing darts. And Sam, from a combat encounter before, was had picked up a brick. Yeah. And the brick was just sort of in his hand. And he went to pick, <laughs> and he was picking up darts through this brick and throwing them with, with <laughs> nice. the brick in his hand. Nice. So, and like stuff like that. And then. Three little weird buggy. And I think occasionally that. Um, and this wasn't like in cutscenes. This was in the actual game, where like Ellie would say something, and Joel would respond, but Eddie's mouth would move like after. I she had that spoke. a couple of times. That, that happened yeah, once or twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I only noticed it once, but yeah, I, I may have happened more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, like trying to get her jokes. There's yeah. parts where you have to do something or wait around somewhere, and then she starts to tell jokes. Yeah, and yeah. there's once or twice that just would not happen and I was right. kind of like why is this not come on yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so those are the only pro- those are the problems that I had in terms of how it like a technical ran. side of things like yeah. technical things yeah. um, the only real other problems I had with it was um, I feel like once or twice the game the game obviously is like like will reward you for using stealth in terms of mm. you don't have to put yourself or your um like ammo and stuff that you've collected at risk by yeah. allowing you to stealth and go buy people that resources are fair yeah get, on, on easy it's you do it, get quite it, a lot exactly but it's still it's not like you're hoarding a thousand oh, yeah, of each yeah. item kind of yeah. yeah um it's not like it's a final fantasy game where i've got like 99 potions and i'm exactly. like scared to use them until the last boss or whatever and yeah. I, I end the game with 84 God, i hate that in games <laughs> when, I feel, when i feel like that um yeah. but like th- so there were times when I'm like, and I'm not very good at stealth, I think, generally. Okay. I don't think I'm actually sure, that sure, good sure. at it. But there are times when I would like suddenly be like, oh, I can stealth this and I mm. do it. And then there's a point where like there is a second wave of enemies and they will just know you're there. Yeah. And so yeah. it's kind of like, oh, you stealth this bit, but you're still going to have to yep. go through this. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe that could have, maybe they could have given me the chance to mm-hmm. like know that there were other enemies coming in, but then let me stealth yeah. for those as well. Um. So I thought that was a little bit kind of like, ah, like that would be kind of nice. And I actually yeah. think that having seen some of the trailers and stuff for the second game, I think that is going to be more possible. Yeah, yeah, it's certainly seemed that way. Um, although obviously there are going to be more challenges in terms of staying stealthy. But, yeah. Um, 
and then obviously like the thing the big thing that everyone complains about in the game is the mm. like uh watery sections where you have to um, oh yeah yeah okay yeah, and you yeah. have to like get elliot because she can't your, your puzzle sections and so you obviously you basically end up getting a like bit of wood and like carry her across yeah and that happens i think i think it happens five times yeah yeah, yeah. in the game i was trying to keep a mental count yeah um and yeah it's not super fun but yeah i think i don't yeah i i understand the frustrating with frustration with those points and my kind of i think my point on that similar point because it is one of those points that i would bring up being like oh it's mm. something i don't really like in the game and i think the reason why for me is that it kind of it almost feels like it's a bit of padding because they do have to make a game a certain length or something yeah. along those lines it, it's, it's just, like it's like downtime yeah yeah and i think that they are such a good studio that they could do that in a way more engaging fashion the thing that gave me a bit more um uh, like positives with it was mm. was kind of, I, I watched the um it's called grounded it's like the uh documentary yeah. that they made about how they made the last of us and it, it was neil Druckmann, the um we wasn't the director of the game but he was like the i was like the creative, creative director yeah. of the game and he basically was saying he did like well they all did tons of research on what would happen if there was a something that basically sure. wiped out a lot of humanity yeah. and it was he made a big thing about the fact that with no one, with nothing there to sort out plumbing in terms of mm. like things would just flood. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And like the, that sort of like levels of water would just be there. That's why they wanted to highlight that as part okay. of the game. And I was like, okay, yeah. That's why a lot of like when you're going through big cities, like there is it is just like a flood. Yeah. And um, I know like the the very beginning parts of the game when you eventually get out and you're looking yeah, for yeah. the capital building, there is just water all over the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's part of why they did that sort of thing. That that's interesting. It's annoying that that wasn't evident that wasn't made clear in the game kind of yeah. type of thing it, but that that because that's a good reason it's a good reason yeah. for, for but why then like if that. if like joel had like, just goes, halfway through gone, oh well this happens when i can't believe there's no more plumbers around that yeah kind of, like yeah, that would have yeah, seemed yeah. a bit like oh. but yeah me me on that same point is just i, I they're they're better they're better than that for me in terms of like they they can do something better than those sections in the games for mm. me um they can fill it more um, efficiently kind of yeah um yeah was there anything else that kind of that, that um, stood out for you in terms of a frustration or an issue there doesn't have to be um i don't i really don't think so yeah if anything maybe maybe there was too many weapons maybe yeah and i know a lot of people might be thinking like what too many weapons no but, no no I'd... but in a way i was like i probably didn't need the flamethrower it was cool yeah it, i probably it... didn't need that i probably didn't need um I used it a lot because I love it and it was yeah. sick, but I didn't need the sawn off single hand shotgun yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a fair point. Yeah, because I, I just thought like, and I guess I guess it does make sense for the world that people would have all these weapons out and yeah, stuff yeah. and that would be left in houses and that. I'd I'd have liked, do you know what I'd have liked? I'd like a crossbow or something like that. Yeah, because yeah. I got, I, I tried to get really good at using the bow and arrow. Mm. Um and now when when the bow and arrow works, when it works oh yeah. my goodness yeah it's great um, really, really great. but i saw that in, in the gameplay for the last of us 2 they've changed there's no you don't lo- any longer see the arc of the arrow and i was like oh, oh do you not no oh, and i was like oh, it's going to be fun, much fun. more difficult <laughs> um yeah maybe, I, maybe yeah we'll see whether that's maybe difficulty linked or something may oh maybe yeah and, um but apart from that like i can't yeah. okay. you know cuz the way everything works i love i, love, I mean I personally love how the crafting system works. Yep. I love the the f- the menus or lack of menus in yeah, the game. Yeah. Love all of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I think for myself, I I have a few things which bug me with it. And one well, one thing which is a bit of a separate thing for me is is interesting. You say um, your favorite bit with Henry and Sam, Sam, or one of your favorite bits. Yeah. For me, that's always been my least favorite part of yeah. the game. And I think it's only just because. For me, and this the, again, this is probably just a weird thing for myself. Is that I never remember it. It doesn't mm. stand out to me. It's like bang in the middle of the game. Yeah, it's bang well. in the middle of the game. It doesn't stand out to me as much as all of the other parts. And Henry and Sam, I, for some reason, the two of them and their chemistry, and then their chemistry with um, Joel and Ellie, 
for me didn't work as well or, or it wasn't it, yeah it didn't stand out as much for myself um mm. i preferred a lot of the other characters and their interactions and their chemistry i thought henry's the old one isn't he yeah i kind of just got really frustrated i remember getting really frustrated well he kind of leaves you he yeah, yeah like he's, leaves a, he's you a dick for, yeah. he's a dick and um, but he also i was just kind of like there's just aspects of his character and what he is kind of i was just like i just don't really like what they're doing with him as yeah. a character um i mean can, uh, no, yeah. Sorry, you're doing your negatives. I was, no, I was no, 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 no. And the, the, there's again a lot of nitpicky small things. And the only other thing is, I think I like, I don't really. The certain aspects of the way the game plays and the way you shoot and things like that that never fully clicked for me. I understand that it's almost the intention yeah. for it to be well, like the waving, of the, the waving, oh, or, or the way, the, just the it way it feels so fucking feels. stressful. Yeah, it? It, no, yeah, I get it, but it's also like one of those. Like I was like, Ugh, this is just annoying me, not yeah. like making me believe the situation more. But again, I'm saying that as like sounding like that. I, I hate it. It's not even in the slightest like that. Yeah, it's yeah. just something I could. I feel they could improve on that do you, for do, me. Do you know one thing that I was in, especially with like the hand waving of mm. the guns? Um, like so, basically, you get your reticle, and unlike Call of Duty, where it is just this, it's this set thing that your yeah. left hand looks or right hand looks like he's yeah. moving. you you can move where he's aiming, but he's like swaying slightly. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the reticle is swaying as well because yeah. yeah. he's actually. Which I've got no issue with that. I think that's oh, actually a really good idea. But one thing I thought was super cool with that is because um, yeah. as soon as I could, I use the supplements to upgrade to get rid of that okay, or, yeah. like to, or to, yeah, minim- to reduce, like, to reduce it, yeah. it and then when you later in the game play as a different character yeah that is back completely yeah yeah and i was yeah. like that's so clever yeah it's yeah. so clever that they thought to put to do that to get rid of the upgrades that you have had yeah. when you do play as so other. clever yeah no absolutely um it's i think there's also a few things which are like which hopefully we'll see. I'm so scared about this. What I'm this point I'm going to make about number two, in that there's a level of you are quite confined in each set piece that you play in the first game. It, they they sometimes open up into bigger levels, but you don't really have the ability to actually explore outside what mm. you need to go down the, in the corridor, um, and opening that up a bit more to have you be able to do anything the way you want and kind of work out this puzzle even if the puzzle is how do i get past these people or how do i kill these people yeah ha- opening that up to allow the player to be more creative with that not necessarily be creative in terms of how they're going to listen to the story but just assess situations i think is something which obviously we're looking back on a game from 2007 here games have advanced a lot since then 2013. 2013, sorry. Why did I say 2007? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Weird. I think you have Bioshock for some reason in my head, yeah. I think. Um, 2013. So it's still a while ago, and you games are always dev- like getting bigger and more yeah. complex and stuff, and that's something which I think I would love to see more explored with the game. I think one of the best bits in, in one that ca- that does do that yeah. is that part where that sniper is in that house and... Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. you're kind of like it's like here's this arena. Yeah, get to this sniper. Yeah, do it, do it in whatever way you can. You think is the best. You can yeah. run and gun type thing. You can do what oh, you I want. I don't think you can run and gun, can you? No, yeah, I think you maybe two hits you die. Yeah, I think something. it's two hits. Um, but yeah, just all of the levels, and one of those things I think comes in with, for example, that's a Henry and Sam part of the game, by the way. It is, it is. Um, <laughs> the you um, you can't jump, can you? No, nope. there's no jump button. No, nope. so that's again one of those things. that's like if they bring that in obviously the game and how it was designed if they had a jump button and you were able to jump on stuff it would completely break down because they've made it so that you can't go to these certain areas you can't explore these these aspects number two does have a jump button yeah and from what we've seen it's always getting bigger and bigger the reason why i hesitated kind of to say that point is i want the more creativity available in the levels that you're doing but when we come to talk about part two, one of my scares is that the game gets too big. Yeah. So we'll, but we'll come to that. Um, so obviously, yeah, we've done negatives kind of that. Generally speaking, I have no issues pretty much at all with the character, other than what I've just said about Henry and Sam, the characters, the story, where it goes and stuff like I that. I think I just don't think I've ever played a game where the story's better than that. Yeah. 
I don't. I I can't think of anything off the top of my head. No, no, no. I think as a as a I kind of I've always written down. For me, it's it's what I call like a pure game in terms of it's not especially like revolutionary or groundbreaking in specific things that it's doing but it's just so unbelievably tightly packed and put together and yeah. just focused that it ends up being so flipping good because of that the story is, yeah. is one narrative told in its entirety simply and done efficiently and there's no going around choosing a different way or anything that's, this, this is the story and that's why I love it. like I mean just to sort of like break down this if if you haven't played you've got no interest mm. in playing this game at all like obviously you play Joel game opens yeah current day yeah the, this infection the cordyceps the the spores that basically turn you into these zombie things yeah um, has just happened everything's going to shit and Joel has a daughter and a brother and as they're trying to escape um, the military have kind of cordoned off where you are yeah. and are not letting anyone out yeah and so as you try and get there this one soldier is told to to kill, to kill anyone. anyone that's coming yeah. out. And he shoots, um, your brother eventually kills that soldier and the shots that the soldier took basically kill your daughter, Sarah. Yeah. And it's incredibly emotional. It's this really amazing, like oh, like literally oh, your it's... daughter dies and then it goes black, boom, the last yes, yeah. And it starts like that. And that you're like, damn. Yeah. And from there, you know, you get set off on this journey. There's this group called the Fireflies who are um, obviously not like a official military group for the for the country but they're yeah. kind of splinter group that are yeah, trying yeah. to do their own thing um and the leader of that marlene yeah she gives you this a uh, job of taking ellie this girl to basically across the country somewhere yeah. and um turns out ellie she's immune yeah she has been bitten by a thing but she's not turning yeah, yeah. um and then loads of crap happens along the way um you have all these sections for example like for me like the Henry and Sam part where basically you meet up with these two brothers um, there's just so like for, you meet up in this horrible in this horrible way you're like running away from all this like tank stuff that's going yeah. on then you go through once you get away you do the whole sewer section and that's where you sort of see the story of this group of people who were surviving mm-hmm. for a while but then everything went wrong Yeah, and it's absolutely horrible there's a section where you go through and there's um there's basically some in written on the wall it just said they didn't they weren't no they didn't suffer or they weren't in pain or something yeah, yeah. and in the corner of the room there's just this this blanket covering all these child's bodies yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. one other body in the other corner that's obviously shot itself in the head yeah yeah and yeah. you're like man this and it the, all of the storytelling through the environment is oh the environmental crazy. storytelling is next and I, level. I, I think that's why i like it because the, the next part then is you go out into this little village yeah. with them and you're basically looking at all these houses that are, um, have been sort of run down. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, then there's that sniper section. But basically, Henry and Sam, the ending of their story yeah. is just absolutely horrendous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Sam gets bitten, yeah. um, attacks Ellie, and Joel is obviously, you know, about to probably kill Sam. Yeah. Henry turns his gun on him, shoots Sam, yeah. and then literally, with very little thought or um, like time to process what happened just turns the gun on himself and yeah. shoots himself in the head and, then and that's it's, the end of that season and that's the it? end of that season as well and it's that moment of like in fact that's the end of the first season that's yeah. the end that's where the first part yeah. of the game actually ends and like it's the fact that there wasn't a drawn out grief for his brother there wasn't this drawn out like no don't do it don't do it he yeah, just yeah. turns the gun and kills himself yeah. it's, it's so it just feels so different to how other things would do that mm-hmm um, Ellie and Joel grow closer. Yeah, they start having a really good bond. Um, Joel gets injured. They they go to this university where they think yeah. the Fireflies are. Joel gets injured, leaving there quite mortally injured in a way. Mm-hmm. And Ellie has to help him escape. Um, you met then, up at one point with the brother as well. Oh yeah, yeah you met up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you play a section as Ellie. Yeah, which is crazy. Completely flips the whole thing and. She meets this guy called David, mm-hmm. who is put from another group. Turns out David's a complete psycho, and his group are all cannibals. Um, Which is like that, that like the preamble to when you first meet him and stuff. It was like, this isn't a negative what I'm saying, but like, it's so like obvious he's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, even when he's like trying to be nice or whatever, 
you just know he's a bad yeah. guy. He's only about to trade. Like, but he plays it him. so well. He does. He, he plays does. it so well. He does. But it, he's like creepy to the nth degree. And that basically all culminates in uh, you get cap- Ellie gets captured by him, and then she manages to escape. And Joel sort of comes back, and it all ends in this restaurant that's on fire. And yeah. Ellie, I actually forgot. I thought for some reason I thought Joel gets back and kills him in time Ellie, Ellie actually, actually brutalises him I mean for machete she, isn't it yeah machete to the face yeah, multiple, several times yeah, like, and then Joel gets there um, and then the ending of the game after that is basically taking Ellie to the Fireflies hospital where they yeah. are and Marlene's there and mm-hmm. the idea is basically that they because Ellie is immune mm-hmm. they're going to use her and be able to work out a um a cure. vaccine, a cure for the cordyceps infection. But in order to do that, yep. Ellie needs to die. Yeah. And you're kind of unconscious while they make all these decisions. And when Joel wakes up, he flips out and yep. um, they tell him to leave. But then Joel basically fights his way through the Says, entire Fuck hospital. That. <laughs> yeah. Murders everyone. Um, picks her up from the, ho- uh, from the operating room and drives away. And then Ellie wakes up um, and he basically then lies to her. Yeah. And says that they couldn't find a cure. Yeah. So we're going to go and live with another group of people. Yeah. Um, and that's the game. Yeah. And I love that, you know, there's this kind of, there's this like moment where you're sort of like, you, you get these recordings from Marlene mm-hmm. and she's sort of really like, I can't believe we have to do this. This is like, you know, yeah, she obviously yeah. doesn't feel good about it, but like in another world, she's the protagonist of the game. Yeah. 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 And she's trying to like save the human race. Yeah. And Joel. Trying to do the right thing. It's this lunatic yeah. who has come and basically destroyed any chance. It's terrible the human person. Race terrible person. Have but, but, he's, but he's you. And it's that big. It's that big like. Um... <laughs> oh, Alexa! Cheers, thank Alexa. You. <laughs> um, <laughs> basically, it's this huge uh, um, mirror to the opening of the game where his daughter yeah, dies. Exactly. Because they were trying to protect humanity. Yeah. yeah. And Ellie is going to be killed to try and save humanity. Yeah. But Joel's like, he can't deal with no. that happening again. Yeah. And so kind of selfishly, he... Yeah, absolutely. And it's the fact that it's like, that's the story. Yeah. It's not yeah. like you get to the end and you're like, oh, do you save Ellie or does she yeah. die? It's, yeah. No, that's, no, that's what that, happens. That's the, the only bit that's kind of, you have to make up the decision on is whether, whether Ellie believes him or not I think that's the only thing where you have to but I think I, I wonder if that's going to be kind of I don't even think that's going to be a decision I think that's going to be told to us with the sequel oh in, the, in yeah I think so yeah yeah but that as, as it stands with the game yeah kind of, that was the, that's one of the only things you have to kind of think to yourself about what you think which is which is perfect yeah like um, yeah I, I completely agree with everything regarding that um, I think there's a couple of standout moments for myself um, one which I kind of told you quite a few times about was um that bit at the the ranch, I think yeah. the, the the scene is, and it's at that at that point you have been chasing our Ellie's basically you're, you're at um Tommy's dam where he's got like a little community that he's built, and you're basically you've kind of got close to Ellie, but you're still fairly dis you still yeah. you become friends, but not really much more, um as Joel, and at that point you're going to be leaving Ellie there, um and she gets word of this kind of and she bolts off on a horse, um you chase after her, you end up at this ranch. And you've built up a bit of friendship and stuff, but then it all comes to loggerheads and they have this huge argument upstairs in a room where she was basically like, F you, you were going to leave me there, basically. Yeah. You don't care, kind of. Um, and then he just absolutely blows a gasket. Like, he goes mental and, like, sh- like really, like, sternly shouts at her, kind of, because he talks... She asks him something about his daughter, doesn't... She She mentions his daughter, She says that... She says, I'm not your daughter. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and as that all comes to, like, head, just as it's boiling over, some people... Like, Tommy comes up, bursts in the door, and he's like, oh, some people are here, kind yeah. of. So you have to fight through them. And it's kind of left unresolved. And when they then pick up straight after that, they're still not really talking to each other for a second as they get onto the horse and stuff like that. And then as you get back to the dam, Tommy's place from that little bit of time and you can tell internally Joel's kind of gone like you're right or whatever yeah. kind of like and then he just kind of like says no no I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it but I'm he never go it. he never takes her aside and goes okay right I'm gonna come with you he just yeah, so, yeah. he says to Tommy right um 
I'm gonna need that horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it, it's done in so so naturally and so perfect. Honestly, it's one of my favorite moments in all of gaming. That yeah. scene, the whole scene put together there. Um, yeah, I, I think is so nuanced and yeah, so perfectly done. Um, I love that. I love that aspect. Um, I just think there's so, there's so many amazing bits. Oh, of course. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's a million. It, Do you know what the other thing as well is? That in the beginning, he, um, his daughter, it's his birthday and it's mm. on when she dies and his daughter yeah. gives him a watch. Yeah. And there's a couple of really subtle bits mm, in the game he where he's rubbing it. He's something. just like got his hand on the watch yeah. or he just glances at it or something when something's going on with Ellie. Yeah. And it's just so yeah, yeah. good. It's a, so... I always remember there's a bit on a rooftop quite near the beginning of the game. Yeah. Where you were looking over at the um the Capital town, building. Capital building yeah, yeah. And there's a bit where he's kinda of looking at her and he's like rubbing his watch or something and he's yeah. kind of away with the kind of the fairies kind of um no, lots of really lovely, subtle little moments like that. Um uh, what, what I mean, we haven't mentioned them at all, but Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, like Oh, phenomenal absolutely incredible phenomenal performance incredible yeah yeah um one other little bit for me as well which is kind of a combination of the music as well because the, the soundtrack is f- oh, yeah. incredible and really amazing variations on a on a tune um the bit where ellie does kill um david david yeah the way that plays out is she gets to him eventually and she gets the machete and she starts beating him up like killing him and joel rushes in and holds him and he says something like, oh, it's okay, baby girl. And at that point, he's calling her baby girl at that yeah. point. And he kind of holds her. And then all of the sound disappears. And you just have this really, like, I don't know how to describe the violin. It's like really sque- like sque- hardly playing the tune. And there's hardly anything there. But you can see that they're talking to each other. But all sound's gone, so you can't hear what they're saying to He's saying to her. Yeah. And there's this, this really, really sad bit of music playing. And it's like, just small little things are the little bits of confidence that you see coming through on yeah. the vision compared to a game would normally still have them talking or they just play the music or something. And it's, it's so well uh, after, done. After that, after he, she kills David, basically the rest of the game is you go through... Um, I can't remember, you're in, you in Salt Lake City, is it? Where the I think so, is? I think yeah, so. yeah. And you basically, the way you go, you go through there and there's obviously the big giraffe, there's the giraffe bit. Yeah, well, she becomes a recluse for the, for the next Well, so the minutes. beginning of that, yeah, like she's like really down and yeah. really, and then... You ask her to help and she yeah. just doesn't do it, basically. Yeah, and you have to ask her again to do it. And then she climbs up and sees this giraffe mm. through this building where you are. And you go up and you pet the giraffe and it's all yeah. nice. And then she's just sort of stood there looking at the view for ages. And I think, and Joel basically goes over to her and is like, look, we don't have to do this. Yeah, yeah. And he's got, and it's like, it's almost like that moment in like a RPG where it goes, this There's is no like, turning back. No at turning this point, back, by the way. Here. Complete your side quest before yeah. you do this. Cause it's, someone... it's almost like that in the way he goes, look, we could just, we don't have to go yeah. to this hospital. We don't have to do this. Yeah. We can, Cause I think, and part of that is he almost feels like he knows this is kind of is the end of his journey with her. Yeah. 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 And like in whatever way that could be. And she's yeah. like, no, no, we've come this far. Yeah. And then, and I think that's the part when, there's a part when Marlene is talking to him when he wakes up and she says, look, she'd want this. Yeah. You, you yeah. know that she would. Yeah. And the Joel has that moment where he actually thinks, yeah. 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 And you know that Joel actually thinks that if Ellie could sacrifice herself to save, potentially save everyone. Yeah. She would do it. Yeah. But he can't let her do it. Yeah. And it's, it's such a strong moment. And then and actually the last bit that really sticks out to me, I texted you it mm. uh, as I got to the end of the game at like 2 a.m. Yeah. Um, is where because everything when when he's like saving Ellie and walking out and the, it cuts back from when he's in the car yeah. with her and and Marlene the, basically stops them. The audio as well is overcut on yeah. the video that you're watching, which again is another one of those like cinematic things, but done so confidently that it works perfectly. They know what they're doing with it. And Mar- when when you're escaping, he's carrying Ellie unconscious, yeah. and Marlene's got a gun, and she says stop, and then she sort of puts the gun away and says, like, "Look, okay, yeah, just." put her down you can still just leave like it's fine and he's basically got a gun concealed yeah and just shoots her in the stomach twice and she falls down and then it cuts back to him in the car and then um the final cut or i think ellie might even ask about Miley or something yeah she she says oh did did it work yeah and he's like nah they tried loads before and then basically it cuts back and marlene's lying on the ground like bleeding and 
Joel has put Ellie down. Yeah. And he walks over to Marlene with his gun and she just looks up at him and goes, please, just just let me live. Just go. Yeah, yeah. And Joel just looks down at her and goes, you just come after her yeah. and just shoots her in the head. Yeah. And it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's hardcore. so like, oh my word. Yeah, no, absolutely. And even even having seen that from when you played it yeah. and like maybe even seeing the ending again at some point yeah, on YouTube, yeah. wasn't it? It still just hits you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. No, it's 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 I mean, an incredible experience. It's it's one of them where it's like I'm 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 really excited for the sequel. Yeah. But my my re- only real concern is can they do it as good as that? Yeah. Yeah. That's my only real concern about the game. Right. Just before we talk to part two, I need to go for a wee. Yeah. So boy. Intermission. Da, 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 this is gonna be the longest da, da, da. episode ever. But... I know. <laughs> what time's the football? Now. Now. Do, 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 do. Right, and we are back. <laughs> right, we're back. Okay, so Last of Us Two, then. Yeah. So Last of Us One, you've just played through. We both think it's utterly incredible. Yeah, absolutely amazing game. Um, so we've got number two coming out soon, February. Yeah, February, February twenty twenty. Twenty second. Oh, twenty second. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't actually. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, around about then. Um. Right, so what 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 do you want to see from this game? Um, we can break down into a couple even, of different things. Yeah, but. it's one of those things where I don't even know. I just, mm. I mean, it looks like obviously there's going to be some kind of weird cult. Thing, yeah, it looks uh, from fairly the religious. Um, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm. It seems like it sounds like from what they're saying, it's going to be quite. It's going to be longer. Yeah. So this game is about four, like last one was about 14 hours or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know if they mean bigger in terms of like length or if they just mean bigger in terms of the environment. So mm, you're bigger mm. than you playing. Um, it's going to, it looks like it's what, like it's turning up the brutality. Yeah. If that's even possible, because yeah. one was a brutal game as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I, I honestly don't even know what I want. I'm at the point where I kind of even, I'm happy just not even to think about it. And then yeah. Once, and then just, Whatever they give is like yeah yeah I I given their given their track record I think there's no there's no question that this isn't going to be a great or, or amazing game yeah there's no doubt about that I'll be very surprised if this game yeah is not absolutely um I think my my kind of like concern that I have is I don't want them to go too big because mm. what I think does what I think the last of us does so well is by being that succinct kind of thing where there's not too much to to think about there, there's just a game yeah know? and it kind of feels a weird thing to say like i want them to i want them to construct levels where you are able to put yourself into the situation and and have creative freedom to do what you want in that level um, yeah however what i don't want them to end up doing is making this an open world game yeah that, like I want some sort of balance between that, um, which I think you saw with like Uncharted Four. You kind of there was that bit that kind of opened up into a yeah, because Uncharted Four was not an open world game. No, it not just had fighters. bigger areas. Yeah, to yeah, mess um, around it. I just I hope it doesn't go too grand as well. Mm. The Last of Us worked so well because it was so grounded and so a simple small story, but a big yeah. thing. But yeah. like it was just one man and his girl kind of going along. I don't want it to become this huge war of the worlds kind of S thing, which I don't think it will, but... It looks like it's a revenge story yeah. by, the, by the trailers, so I don't think we're going to get... Yeah, some wider, yeah. big old, we're not going to be fighting just, for the government kind of... Just really interested to see Joel's yeah. uh, so, involvement. So what, what do, you, do you think... What, okay, right, I'm going to ask you. Obviously, we are playing as Ellie on yes. the, the screens, just like in the first one, we were playing as Joel. Do you think we will play as Joel? Yep. Do you think it will be a significant portion of the game we'll play? So? No. Do you think it will be a similar size thing to Ellie? Um. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I just I love thinking about this sort of stuff and thinking like what could happen and yeah. how like. Do you think Joel's gonna die? Yeah. Oh, mate. If I I would be so surprised if Joel makes it out. Okay. Okay. Do it's think, like it's like how... Ellie will die. Do you think Ellie will live? No, Ellie will live. Do you think? I think so. 
Because what a way to pull a rabbit out of a hat of have your main characters die. Yeah, but I think <laughs> like what if like, can you imagine right if like there's a section where you play as Joel mm. and like he dies in that section. Like, yeah, imagine you're if, playing and you yeah, die. Yeah, and that's part of the story. And I know it's like the same kind of thing of. I don't know. I feel like we've talked about this before already, but mm. like, you know how obviously like the Telltale Walking Dead mm-hmm. and how that first season ends? Yeah, yeah. Like, that'd be pretty emotional. Well, that, that's, that's where like, I, I had Like if Ellie has to put down much. a turning troll. Yeah, yeah. Like that, I mean, even just thinking about that, I get like goosebumps. Yeah, like, yeah. Like if yeah. they, I'm kind of, no, I don't want to say I'd be surprised they don't do it, but like, no, yeah. I feel like that'd be a, Oof, that'd be one of those moments yeah like, yeah damn. and it you you know you know the way it would happen would be a full-on like i don't know if you remember from um metal gear solid 3 at the end when you have to kill the boss you stand yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. the game pulls back and you just have a button to shoot well you don't i think in, in mg3 actually it looks up at you doesn't it you're no remember. you're looking kind of down almost uh, okay uh, but but it had the film black bars and then they go away so you're back in the game you can't move the camera or anything there isn't even a button prompt to shoot because the button to shoot in it is square in, in yeah. the game. I think it's square. It might be circle. Um, so you're just standing there with your gun at them and it doesn't give you a prompt. It never gives you a prompt. You just have to press your normal shoot to yeah. kill her. You know it would be like, you're going to have to pull that trigger or something like that. Like, yeah. And you're going to have to kill him. Like my moments, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Like if that happens, yeah. like that would be crazy. Yeah. I'm also... I'm also can't I can't even begin to think but that moment when she finds out that he's lied yeah that that then brings into like what what's your thoughts on the end of the game I I, I fully I see I've always I don't know if I would say I've always I mean, like, but I'm in the camp that at the end of the game when she says to me what did she say she says to Joel um just oh just swear to me that swear to me what you said about fireflies is true yeah and he says, I swear. I swear. And she goes, okay. And she, the there's, a, there's a pause for half a second. And then she says, okay. And then it finishes. Yeah. I have always, my interpretation has always been that she needed to ask him it because she physically needed to ask him it. But she knows the answer. Yeah. I, no, I think she knows. Yeah. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like, oh, she, it, it, she it, finds out. She finds out. She's like, oh my yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, I'm not saying like that. I mean, I'm more saying like, they air the truth between them. Yeah. Okay. It it comes up maybe maybe over the last because it's five years later this game, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um. That's become a resentment point over time, and it, yeah, that that can very easily be an argument point between them. Yeah, I kind of yeah. It's one of them where I'm like, I wonder if that if that has just come out over the last five years that they yeah. It's kind of, but I feel like it's going to be an unsaid thing, and I think at some point in that game you're going to get a blowout. Yeah. Of like you're the reason that we're still having to deal with these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Joel dying because of clickers and infected is yeah. just so... It's like... It's poetic irony or whatever. Yeah, it? he like, could have... He could, he by could have, he could have healed them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, has to, he has to die by turning. Oh, man. It's going to be so brutal. Yeah. Maybe. I don't Maybe. know. Who or, knows? Or something Who else knows? happens. Who or knows is he already dead? Exactly. No, I don't, no, I don't think he is either. Um, yeah, I think. I think... We, they've already shown off quite a few gameplay style changes so you can you can go prone you can yeah. jump there's um, this sort of whole tall grass isn't there now yeah. which is a new thing yeah um so i think those will all those will naturally all be positive improvements to the gameplay because have it looking back on it there are some things which do feel a little archaic in the way it does certain aspects and but that's just of the times so there's, yeah. there's not an issue of the game itself but there are things that games have now improved upon and it should lean on those and steal those improvements yeah. to make itself better. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any more kind of improvements in that way um, that, that we haven't found out about. But obviously the big thing really is, is the draw of where does this story go? Yeah, We know that they're at a, they seem to be in a community that's fairly established. Yeah, I imagine if it's the same one that they ended... Uh, one out. Oh, with the dam. No, well, I well, I don't oh, know no, exactly where they were back. going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, where they're heading. Yeah, pr- probably is actually. Um, so it's established there. Somehow, we get to these dark, dark times, 
because it looks pretty all cheery yeah. at the beginning. And what I'm so interested in, of the trailers that we've seen, there are certain trailers which are like completely different. Like the one with the girl who's hanging in, the, who oh, gets hung up. Yeah. Like those, we've never seen those characters. Well, you don't even, you wouldn't even know that's a, I mean, you probably do, but you wouldn't even know that's a last West trailer until other than the click of the click is running right Yeah, the yeah, up until that, you're right. And that's kind of like, who are these people? Like, yeah. Where does this, is, where does this bit fit into the game in terms of the story and stuff? Yeah. Um, because it's sort of, I watched it again like the other, yesterday or something. Yeah, yeah. But it sort of implied that one of the people that's being abused is one of the people from that cult or wherever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But. Yeah, absolutely. There's, yeah, there's, there's, all, there's some big, yeah, cult religious overtones and, um, yeah, interest to see how that all shakes out as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, right. Anything else you wanted to say about The Last of Us or Part 2? No, I just, I'm uh, just very excited about the uh, sequel and, uh, yeah. Not long wait to wait, not long to no, wait. No, it's actually not too long. A couple of months away. Um, Right, now, as always, we need to talk about bets. Yeah. Last episode, which was a while ago. It was so a while ago. This is, which yeah. might affect <laughs> It that. might affect the result, but we, we, we stick to it. Um, we said we were going to go on to Twitch and look at Wolfenstein Youngblood and see how many viewers there were watching this game at this present time. Yeah. Now, I believe I went first for my bet and I said... I was going to bet 5,000 people watching. Yes, you bet 5,000. Mm. Which we've got to remember, we were anticipating to this two weeks after it launched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe okay. the result wouldn't have actually been different. Who knows? It might but, not have been. And um, you, you went for this sly, sly um, guess of 499. Yeah. 4999, assuming that it would be lower than yeah. 5,000, basically. So do we, do we do this based on whoever's closest gets the... Yeah, Guess someone someone has to get the point. So basically, yeah. okay. if it's over five thousand, I win. If it's under, you win. Yeah. So basically, I've um, <laughs> I've just gone onto Twitch and yeah. typed in Wolfenstein Youngblood. Yeah, I would have been I would have won this bet if I had said zero people were watching Wolfenstein Youngblood. Right? Not a single person on Twitch is watching a stream. Fifty-one people. Fifty-one people are watching. Yeah, Wolfenstein Youngblood right now. Someone, uh, Frazois. Huh. He's yeah. the highest. He's 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 got the lion's share. He's streaming with thirty four viewers right now. Damn. Um, there are there are two people streaming it with no viewers. That'll probably be um, us one day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. I wow. I, okay. At the end of the day, though, Team Hufflepuff for yeah. life. Uh, I don't know what this. I feel like it's like seven one. I, I, I think, think it's nice. probably about seven that. one. So that sounds about right. Um, I'm winning. Yeah. Hufflepuff are winning, uh, but I do not feel good about that bet. It'd no. be interesting to see, it'd be interesting <laughs> if we'd done it much closer to its release. I still think you might have won yeah. that, to be honest. Yeah, it had 12.7 thousand followers, the game. Um, huh. Yeah, but, you still definitely would have won that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. Next up, the next bet. You have the details, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. basically... October 24th or 5th mm. yeah on one of those days uh, the remaster mate this is a remaster I think it's a remaster yeah of yeah. Medieval for PS4 comes yeah. out um, we're just going to very simply guess what score it's going to get um, we're going to use Open Critic for, yes. for this one because it's better it's better it's, better. it's, it's a better fairer, it's a better understanding it doesn't the wait the um the exactly. meta score like Metacritic does. Yeah, um for so what we think that um, mm. Medieval will be on, on Open Critic by the time we record next, which hopefully will be in the next um, next week. So I'm gonna ask you, I haven't even thought about this, so I'm gonna do this on the fly. What do you think Medieval is gonna get? Seventy seven. Ooh. Okay. Seventy seven. I think it's gonna review well for a bit of nostalgia, but I think people are gonna have a few issues with 77. The dated design. I think there's a bit of yeah, but I think I think people were like actually quite excited for this. Do you think? Yeah, I think okay. I'm going to go with 80. Nice. Okay. Um, I was going to go 78 weird. and just do that sleazy sort of play again, but no, I'll go I'll go 80. Um, I can't wait so that, for it to. And oh no, 80s okay. 80s are 80, right. 80s fine. They can't if you were 81, middle. then yeah. 79. It's like what? Um, so that's locked in. Locked in. Lock and pop it. 
Pop and Lock. Pop and Lock. Um, Mom and Grop Shop. Yep. Perfect. So when we when we come back to the next episode, we will have a look at that. Uh, I'm actually going to write down what you said. You said 77, yeah? 77, yeah. Good and idea. I said 80, yeah. 80, cool. Yeah. That's why I um, wrote that there. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Chris, as always. Um, I'm excited to see what chapter two of, uh, <laughs> of Bomb Squad. What Bomb Squad brings us on season one of chapter two. Probably um, have some big tie-ins with um, any Avengers films that comes out. Yep. Yeah. By all means, if they want to come and sponsor us, yeah, fine, we'll take their money. What's coming out? Will there be a Death Stranding sponsor for? Can you imagine if Death Stranding was in Fortnite? <sighs> no. I would you have can't. less respect for Hideo Kojima if? Yes, you would. Yeah. Yeah. What game coming out might go into Fortnite? I could see something like Doom. You know, when Do- I know Doom's been pushed back to March. Yeah. You, the um. But if Doom, was you know, in there's Fortnite. like the sword in the new Doom. Yeah, 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 having right. that in the game or something. Or like what? Well, just a few like the enemy types as well. Yeah. That'd yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 For sure. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much as always, um, and thank you for listening, guys. And we will be back soon. Which we Bye. Bye. Shut off, you face <laughs> fuck. Oh no, you can't. Now put that in the podcast, you wanker. I will. I'll yeah. never <laughs> right at the end. <laughs>